learn how to unlock all your data across your data state with autonomous database sidecar capabilities and select AI. The great thing about autonomous database and its built-in select AI is that it lets you get answers to questions using natural language. What's hot on our movie streaming service? And I see my list of top movies. What percentage of sessions are people binging on movies? Round the result. Well, over 17% of customers are spending a lot of time on our service. Finally, I want to target specific customer segments that love action movies. Okay, so list happy customers between the ages of 20 and 30 and return the following fields. First name, age, survey rating, total number of action movies, and non-action movies they watched. And here I have my list of customers to target. Little did I know as I was asking questions that the data was coming from many different sources. Autonomous Database handled all of that complexity, making it easy for me to get the answers that I needed. When I asked what's hot on our movie streaming service, that question was answered from just a few tables where the data was stored inside the Autonomous Database. But I needed more information from external sources to answer questions about customers that are binge watchers. My autonomous database linked to user session data in an AWS data lake using the AWS Glue catalog. So instead of loading that data, ADB simply queried that data in place with zero ETL. Finally, I used the power of the autonomous database SQL engine to target a customer segment that loved action movies. It is joining results from the transactions in the current database with demographic data in Azure SQL and customer survey data that's actually captured in another Oracle database. Creating these links to external sources is easy. Autonomous Database's Data Studio provides an intuitive experience for accessing those sources, like AWS tables in Glue, picking the tables that we want easy access to, and then creating a link to them. Because we are linking to these sources and not loading them, our SQL queries will always return the latest data from the data lake. Similarly, customer demographic information was stored in an Azure SQL database. And we go through the same process, creating a link to that Azure SQL database table. Now that we've links to our external data, query and analyze that data as you would any other data in autonomous database. What's the average elapsed time for user sessions? That query was directed towards our sessions table in the data lake, and we got our response. We're able to get answers that were not possible without these additional sources. And it was easy. I didn't need to know where the data resided. All I needed to do was ask my question.